Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Long, and uh, coming at you from uh, you know from my uh, my office, which also is my living room here. Uh, anyway, uh, you know a lot of people know know me as Long T Chan from uh, Twitter and on Twitch, and so um, uh, so uh, I just wanted to go ahead and discuss with you one of the talking you know a particularly. You know, cool talking points. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was using the Elgato, um, you know, game capture device. So it is a really slick, um, you know, device. It's really awesome. And as you can tell here, I have two uh, two different cameras uh, pointed down um, underneath me. What well, the the bottom left corner is my Elgato, is uh, what you, what my Elgato sees, and then to the right, to the bottom right corner is actually my um, the TV that I play on when I stream. So, um, so anyway, one of the uh, one of the uh, pain points with uh, with using Elgato is that you know there is a uh, there is a particular delay that tends to throw uh, viewers off you know track when they try to watch the stream and then they see that like the um, you know it's actually like you know, they see that gameplay and the view and then the gamer is actually like out of sync like somehow the you know the gamer is usually one step ahead of everything. So, um, so what I have with me is my cat. I have two. Yeah. So, so for uh, for demonstration purposes, I've actually uh, I've actually reset all my uh, defaults here. Uh, so ba so basically, we're starting from scratch, and this is essentially like how it's going to look when uh, you know before you actually start messing around with the configuration settings. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by like navigating through the menus here, and uh, we'll show see exactly what we're discussing here. So if you look to the right, I, I am actually like uh, controlling my. Um, I'm actually navigating through the menus, but as you can tell, if you look at the left hand side, that is essentially my um, that's my Elgato that we're trying to capture. And unfortunately, you know, as you can see, like when whatever the viewer sees on Twitch. You know, it's always going to be like a few seconds, uh, you know, well, not a few seconds. I would say like maybe a, a second and a half uh, delay. So, uh, so in dealing with it, so uh, your best option here, um, and this is my best option because, you know, I tinkered around with it just so that I can actually stream uh, gaming. Now, for the most part, if the, uh, you know, for the most part, like, there, there do exist a number of like, uh, you know, streamers who, uh, whose like viewers don't really mind the delay. Sometimes it gets annoying, but if you do feel like you really want to fix the um, the audio, you know, the uh, the delay, here's what you do. Um, first thing you do is actually you. Um, it's kind of like what you d learned in driving school, which is learn to fo you know learn following distance. So, uh, so what you did there is that uh, you had to like um, stay behind. Uh, a car in front of you for about you know about two or three seconds uh, in order to um, you know to act in order to like estimate the amount of cushion you're going to need to make sure that when you stop you're not going to hit the driver. So much, very much the same case with uh, with the uh, the camera here. What we're going to do is that we're going to try to delay the um, you know the camera a bit so um, so that way we can actually. Allow the uh, the Elgato to actually ca ca you know uh, to catch up. So because the Elgato is going to actually um, because the Elgato will actually like um, you know take time to actually it'll actually like um, try to catch up and it's going to be behind us. Yeah. So let's go back to the Bing. Uh, oopsie. Uh, cancel. All right. Cool. <laughs> ah, cool connect, yeah. So anyway, um, now the delay between uh, between your PC and then the you know and then the console could vary. But in the particular, in the case of like Xbox 360, um, if I were to actually like navigate the menu like this, so I go from home to social, I count off in my head. All right. So basically, what it looks like is that like. Um, I'm estimating that I have a delay of about one and a half seconds, so that basically translates to you know one and a half milliseconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start by like 
uh, introducing video delay to uh, this. So, uh, so as you see here, um, this is one of the windows I have for my, you know, for my Microsoft Live Cam Studio. Uh, what you see here in the camera, um, you know, if it's a camera, then you're going to have a field for delay. It's going to be measured in milliseconds. There's always a thousand milliseconds to a second. So I count. I estimated as about a, a second and a half um, before the uh, Elgato actually caught up with what I was actually seeing, uh, what I was actually viewing. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to 1500 milliseconds. So, uh, so in this case, uh, what I, so now what happens is that we're actually going back to the game. Now, as you can tell, okay, so now this time, you know, like, um, it, it's, it's relatively close. It's not, the, it's not the most accurate, but it is actually much closer than most people think. Now, at the same time, if you actually do decide to, like, sync up your, you know, you know when you actually do the, these operations, you also want to make sure your audio stays synced as well. Because, like, at, as you might be able to, you know, because as you may notice, um, part of the time you may actually see that, I'm at, that I am, um, my audio is starting to trail off a bit. So at the same time, I do want to make sure that you know, I am basically giving my viewers as much um, you know, you know, as, um, you know, as close to being real time as possible. And as you see right here at this spot, spot here, I just set a second and a half delay on my camera. So what you'll know, what you observe at this point, is that my audio is actually going ahead of the, um, is actually ahead of my video stream now. So now I have to actually, you know, sync my audio to the, um, you know, to my video. And this is what I did here. So you go into, um, so in this case, I go to tools, go to general settings, and right where you actually configure your audio device, you actually have a section for audio delay. Um, if you actually sync it, you know, and apply, and then you press OK, um, then you should be able to no see that, you know, everything should be back in sync again. Um, now, the thing about, like, uh, you know, setting these, you know, making these settings is that you cannot change the audio delay during a live stream. If you want to fix that, you actually have to go ahead and uh, do it off stream. So my, pra my best general practice for insurance that, that I have actually a, a pretty decent stream. It's not, it's not going to be the very best, but it's, it gets close for me. It gets the job done for me is to go over here and, make, and do your local recordings. Ah, connect. But as you can see, like, the connect actually, all right, cancel. Cancel. Now see here, that it's actually pretty relatively close. I mean, uh, it might be that like one screen is still you know, maybe a couple of milliseconds faster than the other, but it actually does the, definitely get the job done. Now, for a lot of people who actually, um, now um, going now back to the original point where I was making, uh, where I am actually trying to, um, you know, determine like how my stream is going to look. I go and do a local recording, and then I just do some practice runs, and I check for sound, for audio and video, and I make sure that that's actually all you know, sync together. Um, after that, then uh, only then do I actually decide to go live. So that is essential. And um, so, anyway, uh, hopefully that works. So if you have the Elgato, so in this case, like the, the video applies very much to the Elgato. Uh, I don't know how other like you know video capture devices work, uh, but uh, but anyway, the demonstration that I showed you here is done using XSplit Broadcaster. And done um, using uh, using an Elgato, you know, game capture. It's a really great device. Uh, it was really great for like uh, capturing your gameplay moments live when you're building out your channels like these. I'm pretty, I'm notoriously lazy, so I just try to. So I'm pretty much minimalist when it comes to um, you know creating layouts. I have to find someone to you know do graphics. You know, try to pay them some kind of commission. But in the meantime, I'm really happy with what I'm at right now. So. Um, in any case, uh, this is Long, um, signing off. Uh, thank you very much. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to like, uh, comment, share the video. 
And then if you really do like what I have to offer, just feel free to su please do feel free to subscribe. I mean, I very well much welcome the new subs if you can. Um, anyway, this is Long signing off. Have yourselves an awesome night.